Okay, guys. Hi, Dr. Sean here again. We're going to go through our mailbag once more. We got a great question today from a young lady out of Dallas, Texas. And she asked me, she said, hey, Dr. Mack, I really need some help. I've lost a significant amount of weight on my own over the past several years, but I still have quite a bit to go. I'm working out. I changed my diet. I'm doing all these things, but I'm struggling. This is super common, and we do so much weight loss in our practice. When you specialize in digestive work and nutrition, you see a lot of people looking for help with weight. So what's fun about this is let's look at what's wrong. You know, she brought some great points. Could it be leaky gut? Could it be my adrenals? It could be. It could be all those things. It could be thyroid. It could be the whole endocrine system. But what's interesting is what she told me. I'm exercising. I changed my diet. I got rid of my carbohydrates and my sugars out of my diet for the most part, even though I got a sweet tooth, it sounds like. She did all these great things, but the body stuck. So let's go through why it's stuck, and then I'll tell you how we're going to fix it. So here's why it's stuck. When you look at these things, let's start with exercise. Probably one of the biggest myths in healthcare or exercise in general is that, boy, the more I exercise, the more I'm going to lose. If I push the body harder, I'm going to lose weight. That's not true. Your body is designed to get out of the modern thinking and go back to like an animal. We're designed feast and famine. We're designed being chased or being secure and safe. So when we feel secure and safe, the body's willing to lose weight. It doesn't need to store anything. But boy, when we're stressed or that body feels like I'm in trouble, that's when it wants to hold on for dear life. So for example, if you're being chased by the tiger and you're running and you're running and you're running, your brain says, hey, don't burn extra fuel right now. Hold it. We don't know how long we're going to have to run from that thing. But if you're just walking around, the body's like, oh, I got extra here. I can start burning some of this fuel. We're not doing anything. There's nothing. There's no threat. So we can lose some of that extra storage that we have. But there's a catch. If you walk too long, 30 minutes being the rule, if you go over that, now the brain's like, wait a minute, we don't normally walk for longer than 30 minutes. Something's not right. Store. Hold on to our fuel. So there's a real fine point. And, and knowing these things makes a big, big difference for people. The next thing we look at is the change in the diet. It's okay to change your diet, but you have to know what to. Everybody's unique. Everybody's different. So we're looking for where's the body in trouble at? How will we know? I like a urine test myself. It tells me, again, what's the body holding on to? What is it throwing away? And am I using any of this stuff? So it kind of gets us in the ballpark. Now, leaky gut, it's very common. Lots of people deal with it. And it can cause problems with weight loss. It's probably here. How about adrenal issues? Absolutely. Because when we're stressed, whether it is emotions or maybe it's your diet, or maybe it is something physically wrong. We have a pain or a hurt somewhere. Cortisol, which is the stress hormone, starts pumping into the blood. Remember that here comes the tiger. And so the body says, oh my gosh, dump that hormone in here so we can get away from it. The problem is when you dump that in, all of a sudden your sugar starts going up. Insulin is on the other end of the teeter-totter. If the sugar's whoop, insulin says, hey, pull it down. We gotta balance this all out. What do we do with that sugar then? Let's store it around the belly and the hips as fat. And this is where it gets a little tricky. You have three kinds of fat. You have a what we call normal fat. That's what you make all those hormones from. Then you have a protective fat. That's where you line your organs, your spleen, and all those. In case you fall down, you don't want to break one of them. But then you have this abnormal fat. It's a fat the body doesn't use. That's the fat that we're after. So how would I help somebody with this? That abnormal fat is very difficult to go after. So I helped to put together a program about a decade ago. I did some work with a couple doctors, and we kind of came up with this idea that if we could tap into that fat, we could get people to lose weight, and not only lose weight, but permanently keep it off. You just have to educate them. So we came up with a program, and that's what we do in our practice. We run people through a six-week weight loss program, and then we stabilize that weight loss for three weeks after that. So for our young lady from Texas, the good news is we do it all over the country. 
We do it everywhere. I've got patients from every state. You're more than welcome to join in with us. We've got a wonderful program, and we'll get you on your way. And the thing I ask of you is that once you start rocking this and you're doing great, just tell everybody. Share it with your friends. Let them know that, hey, look, we don't have to be stuck. And hopefully I'll be able to teach you enough in the next several weeks as we do this together that you're going to be like, oh, my God, I can keep this off now, and I can get all that weight off that I wanted to get off. Hope that helps you out. Thanks for the mailbag, guys. If you have any other questions, by all means, give us a buzz.